Hi, I'm Robert Garcia, and I'm with The Fighter's Voice. Perfect. Hi, this is Richard Ortiz with The Fighter's Voice, voiceography at its finest. Remember, every fighter has a voice, and so does Robert Garcia. We're here in Oxnard, California, Robert Garcia Academy. We're going to get a sound bite with the champ. We're going to talk about his fighters, his future, and his whole Hall of Fame status. Enough said. How are we doing, champ? I'm doing great. You know, we, uh, you, got a, you got your, uh, your place a little bit confused. You know, we're in Riverside. This is the gym in Riverside. We, I got the one in Oxnard uh, about 100 miles uh, uh, west, so you know, it's 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 the one in Riverside. Okay, well, this is Riverside, <laughs> California. You know what? Hey, uh, th we'll put this definitely on the bleep yeah. segments, but we keep it unfiltered and we keep it 100. Right. Okay, is that safe to say? That's right, that's right. Okay, because I noticed you had a big smile on your face. I thought it was maybe you were going to say, Richard, that's one hell of an introduction, <laughs> but uh, never it was it was a great one, except for you know, you said auction, but I'm when we said auction, I'm like, there goes the there, there goes, goes the, there, there goes the a beep. <laughs> and we're going to fix that. And t uh, talking about Beep, I'm going to go inside this man's mind frame, and I want to get his expertise on this upcoming fight that just went official today. You got Carnelo Alvarez against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who came to this stable and was working out and was trained by this Hall of Famer. What's your take, champ? Look, uh, Chavez is, is, uh, is a very strong fighter, very strong physically, and, uh, and, and he'll be the bigger guy. So if, if Chavez trains himself you know hard and 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 dedicates a good eight to ten weeks yeah. of training camp i think he's got the, the he's got the tools to beat canelo but uh but if he doesn't if you know if if he trains like he's done in the past then canelo canelo should uh should be able to uh to control the fight and dominate and maybe win a decision because i don't think canelo canelo has the power to hurt Chavez. Chavez is very strong, very strong, and, and could take a real punch. So, so uh, I uh, I would lean toward Chavez if Chavez is, is prepared 100%. I think Chavez could beat Canelo. You know, talking about 100%. I know you give 100% to your fighters, to your career, to your training methods. Let's talk about Brian Luvia. Let's talk about Mr. Ochoa that are coming here from the Valley. They're underneath your stable. Where do you see their future? Look, these kids are, are are very talented, you know. When uh, my my son actually before before these kids decided to come train with me, my son had already told me about them and uh, and especially Lua, cause uh, cause Lua was training here in the Coachella Valley, yeah. and my dad my, my son told me there's there's a kid right there, you know, training with Joel Diaz that that's very good, you know. Uh, keep an eye on him, cause cause you know he's the he could be a future future superstar, you know, not the never never with the intention or, or with the knowledge that he would one day be with us it was just you know keep an eye on this kid because he, he could really fight you know a uh, few months later went by and you know now he's here with us you know this kid this kid is very talented you know has insane power you know that's one thing about him he's got he's got very good power and uh his his, his reach his height is perfect i think at at uh, at 130 he could make a, a lot of noise and uh and we go to achoa you know achoa is, is is the smaller kid you know he should be at 122 maybe more the most he could probably fight at 126, but I think I think we could try to get him down to 122. He's also very talented. Uh, he's done everything in the amateurs, so you know these kids have a have a bright future. You know what? That's coming from a Hall of Famer right here. Now we're going to talk about someone that already has a bright future. Sky is the limit. Now we're going to make way for the Hall of Fame, and we're talking about Mikey Garcia, who'll be coming through the doors just shortly. We're going to get a soundbite with him, but I want the champ's take on his next fight, on his future, and when he's going to unify all the belts. Look, uh, Mikey. Mikey is after the two and a half year layoff. Mikey didn't come back uh, to to take it easy or to or to pick on pick 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 his fights. What's best for him? What's best for for uh, for his safety? Mikey wants to fight the best, and uh, and that's that's the agreement he he did with uh, with Showtime when they offered him the the first fight in July. Mikey said, "Okay, if you guys want to do something with me, my next fight has to be for a world title." And uh, and they 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 came up with a world title. You know, maybe the toughest 135 pounder out there, but they told Mikey, "Look, Mikey, there's there's four champions, but the easiest one to make because." He's actually under our stable, is uh, Dejan Slatikanin. So, so do you want to fight him? 
and uh, Mike never even hesitated, hesitated to 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 uh, to answer. He said, "That you know, if that's the one you guys have available, then I want to fight that guy for his WBC title." And uh, right now, training camp has gone great. You know, we were two weeks away. We're two weeks away from the fight, and uh, we've had great sparring. Everything's great. I think I think uh, the future is is looks bright for Mikey. Yeah, I, I, I truly believe, you know, not, not just because he's my brother, but, you know, the, the talent that I see. Right. I, I think Mikey, Mikey uh, could be uh, pound for pound the best fighter in the world I agree. within the next three or four fights, you know, because like I said, he's, he's been out for two and a half years. So I can't, you know, there's there's some great fighters like Chocolatito, Canelo himself, uh, Triple G, have, right. who have done great in boxing. So they definitely earned earn their precision but I think I think a few fights from now uh, Mikey Mikey can take over and uh, not only pound for pound but I think Mikey could be uh, could be another uh, pay-per-view star so you know we're just gonna take a fight by fight the all the big fights are there they're available Mikey's still a free agent so Mikey could go and 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 fight uh, anybody that Golden Boy promotes right. Mikey could go and fight anybody that uh, that uh, top rank promotes and and of course if if uh, uh, PBC fighters are available well Mikey's you know fighting on, on those PBC cards right now this is his, his second fight fighting on PBC cards so so you know there's Mikey could choose and 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 uh, fight everybody out there which I, I think Mikey Mikey has uh, the talent to to beat most of those guys out there you know that's aw uh, awesome when you have all these options that you're able to control your own destiny, able to control and do whatever you like. That's why we control our own destiny here at the Fighter's Voice. And we're going to control our destiny by inviting Robert Garcia in the studio of the Fightersvoice.com radio, 1680 AM, that'll be viewing every Saturday, hitting all the local fighters, hitting the professional fighters. And we do got a soundbite that he called on the phone. When can we see Mikey and Mr. Garcia here, the Hall of Famer, in the studio in Fresno, California? Look, I, I would be more than happy to be there. Just set it up, uh, you know, as long as it doesn't interfere with any of my training or, or fights. And I'm sure Mikey will tell you the same thing. Uh, set it up and uh, we'll be more than happy to be there. You heard it, folks. We're going to call him on that. More than happy to be there. We're happy to be here. Everybody's happy to be here. And it's a wrap here at the Fighter's Voice. Thumbs up for Richie.